Welcome to Discovering Air. This week, we will be discussing wing designs and how planes reduce drag. Each wing is designed for different purposes. Let's go back over what wings are. They are what allow the airplane to generate lift, or the force which brings the airplane into the sky. Wings are typically constructed with aluminum. Inside of the wing are stringers and spars. The stringer runs the length of the plane, while the spar runs the width. Spars are very important because they are what support the weight of engines and landing gear. There are various advantages and disadvantages to the different type of wing designs. The rectangular wing is used typically on smaller aircraft and is cheap and easy to produce. However, they aren't very aerodynamically efficient. The elliptical wing is very aerodynamically efficient because it creates the lowest amount of drag. However, manufacturing this wing is difficult. The tapered wing is a mix between true rectangular and elliptical wings. It is a compromise between uh, the efficiency of the elliptical wing and the easy manufacturing of the rectangular wing. One of the most prominent wing designs on military aircraft is the delta wing. One huge advantage of the delta wing is that it is very efficient at subsonic and supersonic speeds. The wing makes the plane controllable and maneuverable. It is also easy to manufacture and maintain. They do generate a lot of drag due to the low aspect ratio. During takeoff and landing, planes with delta wings have to have a higher angle of attack. The trapezoidal wing is used primarily on United States military aircraft. It gives high efficiency during flight while going supersonic. They also have great stealth characteristics. The Augive wing design is used on supersonic aircraft and is designed to minimize drag during supersonic flight. This wing is hard to manufacture and their performance at subsonic speeds are subpar. Swept back wings are the wings that you are probably most familiar with. As the name suggests, they are swept back. The reason for this is that it helps reduce drag and increase efficiency while flying at transonic speeds or speeds which are very close to the sound barrier. Forward swept wings are wings that have been tried only a few times and on military aircraft. The name is very indicative of their design, where the wings are swept forward. There are not many advantages to this type of wing besides the fact that they look cool and futuristic. However, the disadvantages of this wing is that the outboard edge of the wing will stall before the flaps, which causes controllability issues. The last type of wing that we will be discussing in this video, and my personal favorite wing, is the variable sweep wing. These wings are able to change their wing formation mid-flight. Swept wings are best for high-speed flight, whereas unswept wings are best for low speeds. The variable wing design makes the best of both worlds. At low speeds, the wing is unswept, and at high speeds, the wing becomes swept to increase the efficiency of the plane. Now we will discuss what planes do to reduce drag and their general aerodynamics. One of the main ways that airline manufacturers are able to reduce drag is by creating flush or recessed rivets. Rivets are the bolts that hold the airplane together and can cause a lot of drag when they stick out of the body of the airplane. Recessed or flush rivets can help reduce the drag produced by rivets. Gap seals can also help create 
less drag on the airplane by making sure that air from the bottom of the wing and air from the top of the wing don't mix. This will create turbulent air when they do mix. Manufacturers can install gap seals to prevent the air from mixing. There are also seal gap kits which you can install on your airplane if you are fortunate enough to have one. On many civilian aircraft there are struts to help support the wing. These often create drag. Fairings can be used to minimize the drag and ease the airflow transition. Wheel pants are used to cover the wheels which help increase the speed of air around the wheel. This way the wheels don't create as much drag. Winglets generate lift perpendicular to the relative wind, therefore generating a bit of forward lift and reducing drag. Feathering a propeller can also help reduce the amount of drag that a propeller creates. You can make it so that the least amount of propeller is facing the wind. When you feather a propeller, you straighten it out, therefore reducing drag. Thank you for watching this video. If you would like to learn more, please visit our website. The link will be in the description below, as always, along with all of our other links to our sources. You can also follow us on Instagram at discovering underscore air.